Did your employers know that you planned to wear the veil before they offered you a job? Um, I'm not aware of that, whether they knew or not. Was it not a, a mistake not to volunteer the information, especially as it's a Church of England school? Um, no, I didn't, I didn't quite understand that question. Um, the reason why I'm here is just to say that um, I did not refuse to take the veil off in front of children. I just said that I had to keep my veil on in front of male colleagues. But this is, um, this is a Church of England school at which you got a job, but you didn't tell them your attitude towards wearing the veil, which has caused such controversy. I didn't realize that, that this is because it's a mainly Muslim school. I didn't realize that, you know, that it would have, that, that it would be perceived as a problem because parents, they, the female parents, they wear it. They go to parents' um, evening, um, t teachers are communicating with them. If I know it would, it would have been a problem, I probably might remember that, you know, oh, I should say something, but nobody asked me and um, I didn't even realize that, you know, it was an under interview situation. So I wasn't whether, prepared whether I should, but I wasn't just didn't realize. So given your views, it would have been more appropriate for you to go to a Muslim school or a, perhaps an all-female school? No, I don't see why I should have to go to just be, just be um, for a Muslim school or a female school because the veil is not a problem. So why is it that we, women that wear the veil, should be segregated and separated from society just because we wear the veil? I am perfect at my job and any other Muslim female who wears the veil is also perfect at her job. So if she wants to teach, she can teach. Well, of course, you, you separate yourself from society, don't you? Because this is a society in which the veil is just another form of mask, which most people find at least alienating or at the worst intimidating. How can something be alienating and intimidating? You're talking to me or somebody else talking to me, you can at least see me. When, when somebody's calling a call center, you know, you can't see them, but you're perfectly fine talking to them. You have a whole hour conversation and you're very happy with the conclusion of it. You know, you can't see them, so do not fear them. I mean, there could be anybody behind uh, 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 at the end of the telephone. So does that mean that, you know, we should stop using telephone because they cause a barrier in communication? The veil does not cause a barrier in communication. Who, who interviewed you for this job? Um, Mrs. Susan Mayer and um, Mr. Smith. And you, you were interviewed by Mr. Smith? And you were wearing the veil then, were you? Um, do, do I have to answer all the questions? Um, it's not compulsory, but it's very interesting to know whether you were prepared to meet uh, presumably a governor of the school, a male governor of the school. He, you let him see your face, but you subsequently changed your mind about letting other men see your face connected with the school. Um, I don't really have much of a comment to say about anything because um, that time was... Um, Were you just... interviewed face to face by a male governor of the school for this job? Pardon? Were you interviewed face to face by a male governor of the school for this job when they were interviewing you to, to assess your suitability for the job? Was, um, a, was a man in the same room as you interviewing you for the job? It's a simple question. Yes, there was a male, but it was just like you know, five minutes. I did. I had a, because I thought I'd be um, interviewed by a female. I was really caught unawares. And you did not wear the veil for that interview. Um, no.